So that's the question. And I'm going to leave it at that. And once I've posted this video, I'll come back the next day and look at the comments on this Tronic CXY2 Pro. We're printing this part for the lap diner, which is basically the left hand side of the lap diner as it opens up. This particular printer had a problem and I'll show you what the problem was. When it was printing this part and you can see it prints in this position here's one that printed and if you look closely you'll see that we had a problem here print shifted same thing at the other end you see here the print shifted in and you see all down through here the lines where everything shifted and here's another one that I ran on the same printer and you can see where it also shifted it's like the print was printing pretty straight and then it got to this point and from here down everything was skewed off. Now my question is what caused the printer to print relatively consistent until it got to this point and then from there over everything shifted down a little bit but then it was good for the rest of it and it was printing on this very printer and as you can see now we're not having that problem we don't no longer have the shift so obviously I fixed the problem my question is can anyone out there tell me if they know what caused this problem I would imagine if someone else encountered the same thing I did, they would have had similar results. So that's the question, and I'm going to leave it at that. And once I've posted this video, I'll come back the next day and look at the comments. And I'd like to have some comments from you guys out there as to what you think would cause the printer to do something like this. And then I'll give you the answer the next day. I'll do a short video and let you know what caused that problem. Okay, I'm here with another one of my Tronixy printers. The Tronixy XY2 Pro printer. And this printer had a problem when I would go to power up and try to home the machine, the display would just go blank and it would totally restart. And I wasn't able to home or do anything with the machine without this display going off and restarting. And I noticed that the light was on this sensor. So I checked the sensor out and the sensor was bad. So I replaced it. The leveling proximity sensor. And right now I'm doing a little bit of a preheat. To um, clean the end tip of my nozzle. And also to heat the bed and the nozzle so I can check for my zero offset and my leveling. First of all I'm going to go to a home position. Before I power it up I check to make sure that when I put this sensor on that it would come on before the nozzle 
touches the surface and as you can see it's clear so it is doing that so now I'm going to go over here I'm not too concerned about leveling the bed right now because we're just testing the printer out but I do want to get my Z offset we'll let it go to its center position this one centers up it checks here for the Z offset and then goes to the center and that's where you actually set it at so if this thing's out of level you're going to get a bad Z offset so I'm assuming that the beds fairly level and I'm gonna go I always like to go to a small increment when I start doing this and I'm gonna set the camera down because it takes about two hands for me to check this as I go down okay I've got a good friction there so I'm setting my Z offset the Z offset is set okay let's go ahead and print something and let's see if it's going to print now with this new sensor on here Hopefully nothing else wrong with the printer. As you can see this one's checking. And I can tell by the way it's extruding the bed, bed's not quite level. It's a little bit lower here in the front because I've got even though we're, we have adhesion, the bead is higher in the front than it is in the back. But again, this is just a test to see if she's printing, and it does look like everything's going fine. So it looks like this XY2 Pro is ready to go back into operation. When I get it back in there, I will level the bed and fine-tune the setup on it although it looks like it's close enough to where it could print this part without any problem the way it is right now but there again another problem this time proximity sensor and it just they, these things just go out and I think I mentioned another thing well these fans here the power supply fans I replace a lot of them they have a tendency the bearings usually go out in them and even though they're still turning and moving some air they make such a racket and then it's just a matter of time before they're going to lock up or burn up or something so I end up replacing those frequently on different power supplies yeah it's laying down a nice smooth first layer here so we got everything back together. We got our ties on here. The covers back on, the cover on the bottom. We had to take the bottom out because we did change the fan out in this power supply also. It was getting noisy. Yeah, that's a good first layer there. Nice and smooth, just the way we like it. So we'll shut her down and Take her back in there and find her a home on the rack. Okay, we've got this Tronoxy back together. 
band's a lot quieter now. We've got it set up. It looks like it's going to lay down a good first layer here. This will be the third Tronic CXY2 Pro that we've worked on this evening that we had pulled out of service for various problems. One had a mystery problem that I mentioned earlier that I'll give you the results on that tomorrow. And the second one had a bad sensor, the proximity sensor had gone bad on it. And then this one had a bad fan motor in the power supply. And we replaced it. Here's the old fan motor. These things, um, when they're running 24-7, bearings and <laughs> fan motors and stuff have moving parts those moving parts wear out because there's a lot of a combination of friction from the moving parts plus there's vibration in the printer itself because it's constantly shifting changing directions changing speed things that cause parts to wear out. Okay, we're checking our print here. Looks like everything is going very well. Got a good first layer going down. So I would say this printer is definitely ready to go back into service. And this is one of the parts that will be printing. It's these Tronic CXY2 Pros are basically printing lap diners. And this printer is capable of printing four of these size parts, which makes two lap diners per day. So that's two more lap diners every day that this is in service. Okay, got a, another Tronic C here. This one, if you notice, the fan is missing a couple blades here. And it causes this fan, it'll still run and move air, but it vibrates so much, it makes loud noise. And the way these fan blades got broken, the printer was operating, I was trying to get some lint around the heat block off. And I took a small... Allen wrench and I was brushing away at it and I missed. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.